Uh, these cancers are very chemoresistant and uh, you know so there's a lot of uh, cell surface receptor targeting that's going on now so what we did was uh, you know we've in the past uh, my lab has worked on uh, using a tyrosine kinase inhibitor in uterine serous cancers and you know they've shown that they work pretty well um, there was a paper done in breast cancer where they saw that uh, PI3 kinase, which is one of the downstream uh, molecules in the pathway, once you inhibit PI3 kinase, that there's also some changes going on in BRCA. So we thought that maybe these two pathways were entirely different, like tyrosine kinase inhibitor is the ERB BB2 pathway, and the olaparib, the PARP, is a DNA damage pathway. So we thought that maybe there's you know some connection between the two pathways. So that's why we started uh, investigating this particular thing. Um, then what we found out was once you treat uh, the cell with a PARP inhibitor that it increases the HER2 expression on the surface. So you know that essentially provides more target to neratinib and the vice versa is true as well. We found out that you know when these cells were treated with neratinib that uh, there was increase in PAR expression. Now PAR is basically uh, the active part of PARP so which means that you know there was more DNA damage done and if you take away the PARP which essentially you know, uh, the helps with DNA damage repair. If you take that out and if you cause more damage, so then that's why the combination was very synergistic. So we found out that, uh, you know, we did a my study as well, and we found out that there was significantly uh, a longer survival and uh, statistically significant differences in tumor growth right from day four uh, in one of our cell lines. So uh, there was very strong synergism that we saw.